Good morning. Uh, it's the 4th of January 2012. Welcome to Mickey's blog once again. Uh, another action packed show I've got for you today. Um, actually, we're not a show, we don't have any kind of budget at all. It's a, a blog or a vlog, as I've been informed they're supposed to be called. Um, anyway, um, I actually shot this blog last night. I finished work about 1.30 and I was absolutely shattered. I said I really wanted to do it, to shoot it, so I, I shot it. And uh, when I then watched it, I looked so knackered on it, I thought, right, I'll go to bed first. It's about 7.20 a.m., something like that now. Um, but I, I just thought, I can't, my eyes were like just knackered. So I went to bed, got up early this morning, I've uh, started all, all, already. And um, thought I'd shoot the blog before the day starts properly because um, another hectic day it was really hectic yesterday. Yesterday felt like the first day back to, to business as normal. Phone did not stop ringing, everything coming up. And um, yeah, today's going to be another day like that, I think. You know, hectic. I'm expecting it to be proper hectic today. Loads of stuff going on. Uh, yesterday, done a few deals. Got. Um, Matthew Barney, he, he's going to go out, he's going to fight on a Sowland event show uh, in about a week's time, so not much notice, but we knew there was a good chance that there, that there was a fight for him in January, so he has trained over Christmas and he's in good nick, and I'm sure he'll go out and have um, have a good go out there. He's boxing Dustin Dirks, who's um, a real good up-and-coming German fighter. Um, I know they, they expect him to do well uh, you know, on a world level, Dustin Dirks, so certainly on the European level, um, which he, he's, he's a fast approaching anyway. And I mean, he, he's a, that's a good fight for, for Matthew, you know, good payday, but if he, if he wins, great. Um, if, he, if he get, I mean, Matthew can handle himself with anyone. Um, so we'll, um, we'll see how, how, how that goes. Um, he's, he's probably the hardest one to match of all the boxers I've got, Matthew Barney. I mean, last year I must have made eight or nine fights for him where we made the fight, then the next day we get a phone call saying, oh, the, 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 either the TV station won't have it or the promoter won't have it. Um, funnily enough, I, I, I got him a fight in Poland just before Christmas, um, and he hadn't boxed for like ages, had about eight or nine fights in a row cancelled. And the agent that I'd done the deal with actually um, sent me an email that the promoter had given him and a supposed friend of mine, a uh, a guy that um, I, he's in the boxing business as well, um, had sent an email into the promoter, and the promoter then sent it to the agent. The agent sent it to me, and the email was basically saying, "Don't use uh, Matthew Barney. He's a you know he's terrible to watch." And I mean, Matthew has had some stinking fights. He has, he has had a few bad fights, but. I just think it's out of order, you know, he's, he's gone, obviously he's got to earn his, his living the same as everyone else, and, and Matthew's had some good fights as well, so, um, yeah, um, that, that particular agent, typically, this is what you come up with in boxing, he will come up to me like, best friend in the world, come and shake my hand, hey, you know, next time don't bother, you know, because I know what I'll be saying to him, he, he's a German fella, and I'm not going to name him, um, He's not worthy of being mentioned on the Mickey Elliott blog, but um, scum, subhuman scum. Anyway, moving on from that, um, so Matthew Barney fighting Dustin Dirks. The other deal I done yesterday, Robin Deakin, uh, he fights up in Liverpool. I actually had an easier fight, I would say, for him in, in London, but he's absolutely adamant he, he's dying to box in Liverpool. So he's off to Liverpool, and uh, providing he comes through that in one piece, hopefully, touch wood he will, um, then we... we did a little deal yesterday for him to box on the Matchroom show against uh, Ryan Taylor, um, who um, decent enough kid from what I've seen of him. Um, but yeah, good another payday for for Mr. Deakin. Uh, other than that, uh, well, yes, I was working on the, the Burns night. I run every year like a, a Burns boxing night. It's a black tie boxing dinner. Uh, it's going to be at the Millennium Hotel in Mayfair on the 20, 26th of January, quite early this year. Normally we have it sort of right at the end of the month, but this time anyway, it's on the 26th. And uh, actually it's good because the, the, the dinner shows, the last 
couple of years. I mean, we used to sell them to corporates at, at Cafe Royal, and it normally w w was okay. But the last couple of years, the dinner shows have really, really taken a, a, a belt, taken a belting. Um, I mean, you know, to the point where <laughs> you just can't financially, we can't make it. Well, we've struggled to make it work, but. This one has gone all right, so it's it's sold okay. Um, we got I think four, three or four fights on 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 the bill, and uh, really looking forward to to, to doing that. Um, moving on from that, also spoke yesterday to a new venue um, on uh, the twenty sixth of February. Looks like I'm going to be doing a lot of matchmaking. We got uh, ten fights on there at the Camden Centre. Uh, and that's a new venue for boxing, so I, I really get excited by things like that. Um, to, to go to a new venue and uh, put it all together, it, it just it really motivates me to to, to sort of uh, go up a gear and uh, really work um, hard to make it work. Because I know if, if we get it right, that would be a really good asset um, for me to be able to run regular shows in North London. Uh, I mean, I used to live on the Caledonian Road, which is not very far from this venue. It's opposite King's Cross Station. And also, I was thinking, you know, King's Cross, you've got Euston Station. So we've got trains direct from Liverpool, from Birmingham, from Manchester, all coming right on the doorstep of the venue. So even it, it brings in more possibilities to put a show there because... We could almost do like, normally you don't use a northerner because you know, how's he going to sell tickets to get to your call from Manchester, he can't do it, or it's, it's you know, it's a day out. King's Cross, two hours, or Euston, two hours, and, and, and you're there from, from pretty much anywhere. So um, I think it's going to make it a lot easier to, to make fights from guys from different towns if, if we can get the venue at King's Cross working. So that, that's something I'm really motivated to make it work, and I'll, I'll be on that today. Uh, they actually sent me through the contract yesterday, and I looked through it, it looked fine, but I, I was so exhausted by the end of the day, my brain wasn't like, f functioning fast enough, so I thought, right, I'll leave it till the morning, go through it then, so that would be what I'll be doing in a minute. And uh, yeah, that, I'm really excited about that. Um, ah, new, new regular feature on, on the show, uh, on my blog, uh, Mickey's Fact of the Day. Right, so... Um, it's not necessarily going to happen every day that I have a new amazing fact, but um, you know, as often as I, as I can think of one. Anyway, so um, today's fact, amazing fact of the day. Did you know that uh, Sauerland Event, who, uh, as I spoke earlier, Matthew Barney's going to go and box on their show in Germany. The shows in Germany, they use the Austrian Boxing Board to officiate their events and administrate the events. Um, What's so amazing or interesting about it? To me, what's interesting about it is what they're obviously using there. Because I know probably if boxing was just left to get on with governing it all, they wouldn't allow that. They'd say, no, that's the Austrian boxing board. <laughs> They've got to work in Austria and the German one should run boxing in Germany. But under European law, uh, free movement, there's a, a doctrine of free movement, a directive, free movement of workers. Meaning that if you're British, you can go in front, work in France, you can work in Germany, you can work in any member state, and no one can put a barrier saying, oh, you can't go there because you're British, you can't go and work. They're not allowed to do it. So, for example, the Austrian Boxing Board can run a boxing show in Germany, and the German Boxing Board aren't allowed to object to it, or if they do, they'll lose in court. What's so amazing about it? We've never had a show in Britain administrated by another country's boxing board, but the precedent of that, and then there's also other examples of, of different shows in, in different countries, like the, the German boxing board can go and do a show in Denmark, for example. Um, there's never been one in Britain, but basically, if, if, for example, the German boxing board or the French boxing board or the Spanish boxing board or the Irish boxing board wanted to run a show in Britain, um, there's, I, I think it would be frowned upon by, by cert certainly by the British Boxing Board, but they, they, they could do it, and legally no one could stop them from doing it, and anyone that did try to stop them from doing it could face quite serious uh, repercussions if, if it was taken, you know, to, to court. So um, anyway, Mickey's amazing fact of the day. Um, what else has been happening? Um, Oh, one thing, Phil Gill, and uh, this boxer that I, I manage, um, Phil Gill, complaining about me wearing roll... I watched his response to my, my first ever blog, 
and uh, rather than celebrating that blog, he, he took the opportunity to criticise the fact that I wear roll neck jumpers. Um, him and Dan Woodgate. Well, the, the reason I wear roll neck jumpers because I do spend a lot of my time out and about travelling, even if it's only in London, from one end, you know, go up to Tottenham later. Um, yesterday I was at uh, Earl's Court and then, then I was at, uh, at Bethnal Green. Um, <laughs> these are the most convenient, you know, like to maintain my uh, sophisticated and suave uh, appearance and at the same time um, stay warm because yeah, it's easy to catch cold and uh, if you're wearing a shirt or just a suit or, it, it, it can be, be hard whereas I spend a lot of time like waiting in hotel lobbies, uh, train stations, that sort of thing and it uh, just makes it very convenient if, I, if I'm wearing this, I know I'm going to be warm, I can't afford to be ill because then I can't work as well as I would do if I wasn't ill. So, sorry, the uh, the roll necks will be staying. Uh, and he also mentioned I'm an, a boxing odd job man, um, Mr Gill. Um, well the thing is actually I do see myself, if, if I'm truthful about it, although I have like a, a promoter's licence, I, I see myself more as a manager who incidentally promotes rather than an out and out promoter, definitely. Uh, for me, like Frank Warren, Frank Maloney, uh, Barry Hearn, they are promoters. Um, I'm, I am basically a, a boxing or, or job man. <laughs> uh, that, that is what I am. Um, I suppose, you know, the, the bigger promoters, the promoters come to me with a problem and I come back to them with a solution. Um, and an invoice, <laughs> and an invoice um, normally payable either immediately or within 28 days. Um, I mean, I don't mind if you take the 28 days promoters, but any more than that, it starts to take the mickey a bit because you know we, we we've all got bills to pay. So um, just to point out, if you have got an invoice from me and it's 28 days, please pay within 28 days. Um, anyway, that um, I think just about wraps up my uh, Mickey's blog for the day, uh, January the 4th, 2012. Other than that, um, yeah, it'll be a busy day today and I'll come back to you very soon with more um, amazing insight into the boxing world. This is my breakfast. Um, any minute now, it will be going in my belly where it will stay for the rest of the day. And um, yeah, amazing insight you get into the... Uh, what goes on off camera in the boxing world. I'll be eating my breakfast. Anyway, have a good day, people. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.